Nashville is the hottest city in America, and we're not talking about the temperature. More live music comes out of Nashville than any other city in the world, and all that spirit, energy, and glamour is captured on the Nashville Network. Where else could you find Willie Nelson, Merle Haggard, and Barbara Mandrell? The Nashville Network is country entertainment from the new entertainment capital of the country. The Nashville Network, it's hot. Don't miss that fun-filled comedy show, I-40 Paradise, with the Mighty Notes. Niccolo, one smooth and mellow taste tells you all you need to know. Niccolo, some things speak for themselves. Until December 23rd, there were those who said the Los Angeles Rams were the strongest team in football. They had won 10 straight games, and their defensive line, the so-called fearsome foursome, was the toughest in the league. Then on a dark day in Milwaukee, the Green Bay Packers proved that the Rams were not even the best team in the Western Conference. With the Western title at stake, Green Bay's defense, led by Henry Jordan, dropped Roman Gabriel five times for losses. On offense, Bart Starr completed 74% of his passes. Carol Dale was the leading receiver, making six receptions for 109 yards and one touchdown. Bob Skaronsky, Forrest Gregg, Gail Gillingham, and Ken Bowman opened gaping holes in the fearsome foursome. Chuck Mercine and Travis Williams sped through them and ran the Packers to a 28-7 win. Gimmick nicknames have not romanticized the Green Bay Packers. Otherwise, after this game, somebody would have dubbed them the Fearsome 40. On the coldest New Year's Eve in the cold, cold history of Green Bay, the Packers met the Dallas Cowboys of the Eastern Conference for the championship of the National Football League. After 55 minutes of play, the Cowboys led by three points, and most of the crowd had almost decided to go home, warm up, and drown their sorrows with a sad New Year's Eve celebration. But in the final frozen moments, the Packers buried deep into that reservoir of experience and determination that has accumulated in their unequal three-year reign as champions of the world. They toiled 67 yards in four and a half minutes to the threshold of pro football history. brave Dallas defense were all that stood between the Packers and the impossible dream. An entire season's work depended on this one final play. Jerry Kramer reveals that it was engineered with Green Bay's typical attention to detail. We spend uh, hours and hours and hours looking at the films and the minutest detail. We even take every goal line play out and put them in a separate reel. And traditionally, your defensive linemen on the goal line charge in low and hard. And oftentimes, they sub what we call submarine. They just bury their head on the ground so that they can't be moved back. We found in viewing the Dallas films that Jethro Pugh was a little higher than the other people and that he could possibly be moved a little bit easier. So we had decided prior to the game that if we were going to run a wedge, we would run it on Jethro. Jerry Kramer drove out Jethro Pugh and steered Bart Starr to the championship of the National Football League. There it was. Only one play, one block in a long season of plays and blocks in one-yard games. But it was a play to remember. A play that tells you what the Green Bay Packers are all about. Gut determination, and coach Vince Lombardi. 
I think it's because of Coach Lombardi, and I don't believe there's any question about it. He has made the comment a number of times that he said, uh, and I've never believed this before, but I'm, I'm beginning to. He said, you're not the greatest athletes in the world. He says, we've got guys same size, same speed, same mental ability as most of you people. But he says, there's something a little more. He says, we look for a little bit of character in an individual. He molds that character, or that's something that's intangible, something special about you. And uh, if you don't have it, you don't stay in Green Bay very long. And if you do have it or have a chance to have it, he brings it out of you and develops it in you. With an icy victory in the NFL championship, the Packers won the right to move south to Miami for the Super Bowl. Would your car run over 100 miles without any oil? Hey, forget about it. The odds are against it. But this one did. A stock 1980 Camaro that was first treated with Bardol and had all the oil drained from the crankcase. Then it was driven from Canada to Seattle, over 114 miles with no engine failure. Believe me, a real torture test for Bardol. Take the Greek's word for it. Get Bardol, the engine saver. Thinking about throwing in the towel? No, think about making it Michelob Light for the winners. Your serve. Play this hard for a beer. Well, it is Michelob Light, the rich, smooth taste you can compare to any beer you like. Michelob Light for the winner. Boy, I need help with my serve. Tom will help you. First, to remove the cap. Michelob Light. Every week, Barron's tells you more than what has happened or is happening in investments. Barron's tells you what will happen. A smart investor can take it from there. You can get the next 26 issues of Barron's for $36. Just call 800-554-9000. Call today, and you'll also get as a bonus the helpful booklet, The ABCs of Market Forecasting. That's 26 issues of Barron's, plus the bonus booklet for just $36. Call 800-554-9000 now. Monday, two of the USFL's premier running backs come face-to-face -face live on ESPN. The Tampa Bay Bandits, led by fleet-footed Gary Anderson, look to run up the score against Joe Cribbs and the Birmingham Stallions. Find out who rushes to victory, live Monday on ESPN. Don't miss the NCAA Division II Men's Basketball Championship next on ESPN. We're all set in Springfield to bring you the live play-by-play. On the eve of the World Championship, the Packers' clean jerseys concealed the raw truth of a hard-fought season. Against the Oakland Raiders, the Packers shook off the painful legacy of a rugged 16-game season and smashed to a 33-14 triumph and football's world championship. When it was over, Vince Lombardi left the field on the shoulders of his men, acclaimed the greatest coach of football's greatest team. And it is as a team that the Green Bay Packers will be remembered. For 10 years, Jerry Kramer has been part of that team. He was there in the fog and in the snow and mud of 1965. He was there in the Texas sun of 1966. And he was there in Miami at his coach's side. He can tell it the way it really is. There are no special stars on the club. It's just a tremendous group of guys. I have had a tremendous association with these people. They're great people, they're fun people, they're good people. And my big enjoyment out of the game is the people I associate with. I'll tell you in a nutshell, if you can understand this, I play pro football because of Emma Tunnell, Bill Quinlan, Dan Curry, Paul Horning, Fuzzy Thurston, Max McGee, Henry Jordan, Herb Adderley, Ray Nitschke, Dave Robinson, Bart Starr. They will be remembered as the faces of victory. They will be remembered for their coach, whose iron discipline was the foundation on which they built a fortress. And most of all, they will be remembered as a group of men 
who faced the greatest challenge their sport has ever produced and conquered. Fly the friendly skies of United, the official airline of the 1984... Seattle.